In the world of health and recovery, two ancient practices stand at opposite extremes, searing heat and shocking cold. But when it comes to burning fat and accelerating recovery, which one truly reigns supreme? Let's settle the debate. First, the sauna. By exposing your body to intense heat, you trigger vasodilation, widening your blood vessels. This boosts circulation, delivering more oxygen and nutrients to tired muscles and helping to flush out metabolic waste. This heat stress also activates heat shock proteins, which act like a repair crew for your cells. For fat loss, the sauna elevates your heart rate similar to light cardio, modestly increasing calorie burn. Next, the ice bath. Plunging into cold water causes vasoconstriction, tightening your blood vessels. This helps force out inflammation and lactic acid from your muscles. The real magic for fat loss happens on a cellular level. Cold exposure is one of the most effective ways to activate brown adipose tissue, or BAT. This good fat acts like a metabolic furnace, burning calories from your regular white fat to generate heat and keep you warm. So who wins? For recovery, it depends on your goal. Ice baths are superior for reducing acute post-workout inflammation and muscle soreness. Saunas are better for muscle relaxation, reducing stiffness and promoting overall calm. For fat loss, while the sauna provides a metabolic boost, the ice bath seems to have a more direct impact by activating brown fat. However, neither is a magic bullet without proper diet and exercise. But what if you didn't have to choose enter contrast therapy? Alternating between the hot sauna and the cold plunge creates a powerful vascular pump, dramatically enhancing circulation and combining the benefits of both worlds for ultimate recovery. The verdict is clear. Sauna and ice baths aren't rivals, they're different tools. Use the ice bath for inflammation, the sauna for relaxation, or combine them for maximum effect. Listen to your body and unlock the powerful benefits of temperature therapy.